Hi Gemini, this reading is for you if you are in love with or have a crush on someone and would like to know how they feel about you. I'll do two spreads. In the first spread we'll try to see if they feel the same way about you, then if the feelings are mutual. In the second spread we'll look at the potential between you and this person or if their heart is with someone else. In the second spread we'll see who is coming towards you in the near future. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. All right, Gemini, let's see what's going on with the person on your mind. We have uh, the Hermit, clarified by Justice. We have Death. Uh, we have the Ace of Pentacles, uh, clarified by the Star. And uh, we have the Lovers on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with um, a Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Aquarius, perhaps even another Gemini. Well, here's the deal, uh, Gemini. There, there are six cards on the table. Five of them are major arcana cards. The only minor arcana card we have on the table is the Ace of Pentacles. And you know the Ace of Pentacles is, uh, is an amazing card. Alright, so it could be any of those zodiac signs I just mentioned. Those um, major arcana cards are those zodiac signs, could be those zodiac signs. But uh, if we want to take a look at all these cards together, Right? That's my favorite thing to do. I usually look at the cards together and uh, see what they mean. That, it kind of looks like this person um, is either going through some kind of a transformation in their life, or they just finished going through some kind of a transformation in their life, or if this is your ex, then uh, they've realized that they messed up. They realized that they made a huge mistake. Alright, so either way they're coming towards you with that Ace of Pentacles offer. A golden opportunity for some of you it could be a proposal. Alright, if it's not a proposal, if it's not your ex, then this person will see um, the two of you together 10, 20, 30 years from now. They see you as a golden opportunity, they see you as their wish come true. Right, something big and major is coming your way. It's not going to be somebody asking you out on a date and see where it goes. No. If and if it is a date, <laughs> rest assured this person thinks of you as something long term um, and a wish come true. Okay, if this is your ex, they really, really, really want you back. Right, let's talk about this real, real quick in detail. Right, the Hermit could be a Virgo you're dealing with. Right, the Hermit is also a card of somebody who goes within, doing some soul searching, going through some kind of a thought process. Right, uh, death. The next card over could be a Scorpio, you know, but that is a card of a transformation. That could also be a card of an ending, right? If this is your ex, then obviously that is the end of your relationship in the past, and now they are rethinking what happened between the two of you, right? With the Hermit card. And uh, when they come out on the other side, they will come back to you with either a proposal or a very serious commitment offer. If this is a new person, something is going on with them or just recently finished going on with them. Perhaps they recently went through some kind of a transformation. They are a born again something or perhaps they went off to a monastery and they're coming back or perhaps something else happened to them. Something else triggered that major change to rethink their life, to make better life choices or what have you. Right? The Hermit is classified by Justice. Justice could be a Libra, Libra you're dealing with. If this is your ex, then Justice, this is them uh, having a major, major apology for you. Uh, justice could, could be the legal system. Perhaps this person had trouble with the law in the past and that's what changed them. They decided that they will never, ever, ever go back to that old lifestyle. Or perhaps Justice is them finally realizing they need to do what's right. What's right for them, what's right for you, what's right for both of you. Either way, here they come with an Ace of Pentacles classified by the star. The star could be an Aquarius you're dealing with. If this is your ex, then the star could be a healing card. Them wanting to heal this, wanting to, you know, get back together with you. If it's, if it's a new person, the star uh, is a wish come true card, right? Um, perhaps this person is willing to change something about themselves, about their life, in order for the two of you to be together because they realize you are their wish come true, because they realize that you're a golden opportunity for them. Speaking of that golden opportunity, that would be the Ace of Pentacles, we already talked about it. Could be a proposal if it's your ex, or they will be very serious, very straightforward with you. You will very quickly uh, understand just how serious they are about you. Speaking of you, 
uh, Gemini. The lovers on the bottom of the deck, that's you. <laughs> that's your major arcana card, one of them, unless you're dealing with another Gemini. Alright, so this looks awesome. Alright, very deep, very serious, and very loving at the same time. Alright, so yeah, let's take a look at the potential between you and this person real quick. Here's the potential between you and uh, the person uh, we saw in the first spread, the, the person on your mind, Gemini. We have uh, the Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune, and we have the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Well, the potential is marriage. <laughs> it really is. You know, as a, I don't even know why I pulled the, the clarifier, that Wheel of Fortune. I don't even know why I did, but I'm not regretting it. Okay, um, what's interesting about this reading is that before I pulled the Wheel of Fortune as a clarifier, right? Before I, this card came out, every single card on the table was a minor arcana card. <laughs> Remember the first spread? All but one were <laughs> major arcana cards, and the Wheel of Fortune is the major arcana card. All other cards are minor arcana cards. But this is, don't worry about it. We have two commitment or marriage cards. The first two cards that came out are those two cards. All right? The Ten of Pentacles is a rock-solid commitment of marriage. Uh, this is when people enjoy financial abundance together. It's a very stable, very um, protective card, I guess. You know, rock-solid commitment to marriage. This is uh, when people buy a house or an apartment together, move in together. Right, the four of ones right next to it. That card always reminds me of an actual wedding. If you've been watching me for a while, I've mentioned it a hundred times, right? Um, and uh, but essentially the four of ones is also a commitment of marriage card, right? We have the two of cups on the bottom of the deck. There's two people in the two of cups. That's you and them. It's a card of a soulmate connection. It's a card of unconditional love, and it's a card of when two people uh, feel the same way towards one another. The last card that came out is the ace of swords. The ace of swords is a card of clarity. It's a card of a decision. It's a very decisive card, right? And it could be you, right? You are the king and the queen of swords. That's your sword in the ace of swords. But I think with the ace of swords, it's going to be crystal clear to both of you. Or it could be a conversation. Very honest, very straightforward, very upfront conversation between you and them. And uh, as a result of that conversation, it will become very clear to both of you that the two of you belong together. The Will of Fortune clarifying the Ace of Swords, yeah, could be a Sagittarius, you know, but the Will of Fortune is a cycle, starting a cycle on the next level up, because this is the potential spread. Yeah, the next level up. And those two commitment and marriage cards that came out in the beginning of this, spread <laughs> this is the level that's what's coming up for you um yeah this is such a deep reading deep reading you know very loving very deep transformative transformative reading as we saw in the first spread i think the two of you belong together all right so yeah Gemini, that's what I have for you for this reading for this month. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Gemini, have an amazing the rest of the month.